Last time on Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. Fernand's hatred for commoners is understandable. Aren't you related to that super Myrmidon that charges down the hill and tried to kill- Yeah, that's my twin brother. He, he can get like that. Best way to solve the problem, kill him. That's what I always did. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. So, a few things have happened since the last recording session. One, I actually figured out how to download the DLC, and it's not a harm to my capture device, so that's good. I don't know actually how to access it in the game, but maybe we'll be able to when we hit a different part of the game, I'm unsure. Because just like that, we also haven't unlocked forging and such yet. Another thing is kind of a worry about this series, it's gonna suck, it's really gonna suck because I think Shadows of Valencia is gonna be one of the more popular series on the channel, and Nintendo uploaded a thing to YouTube's automatic, um copyright detection software, and basically they uploaded the entire hero soundtrack. Now what sucks about the hero soundtrack? The fact that the main battle uh, theme for Shadows of Valentia is in there. Meaning that every single video I put out with the battle theme of Shadows of Valentia will be completely monetized by Nintendo. So I will literally make zero money from the series unless I just turn off the music, which I don't want to do because it's really good and I just want to enjoy it and show it to others. So. Even if I don't make anything, whatever, I guess. I'll just enjoy the series. It's, it's still a bummer and kind of upsets me, but I'd rather just make a good series than uh, the former. <laughs> make a bad one, I guess. Anyway, we finally get to go in this castle. I've been wanting to go into Zofia Castle forever. Let's see what's in there. It's, uh... Young Man and Zofian Soldier. Huzzah for the deliverance! Huzzah! Thanks to you, the castle is finally rid of those Imperial dastards. Oh, what a joy to watch them run! We're finally free! You have my heartfelt thanks. Truly. Why does everyone say dastards? Can't we just say bastard? This game can't be that low rated. It's like the tea. The Chancellor retreated to his fortress west of the Northern Forest. He'll be begging Regal for help now, so he will. What a piece of filth. Leave his men behind to die in his stead. I always find it funny when games try to, like, avidly avoid cursing in such weird, obtuse ways. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Hold on. Hold on, we can't be here right now. We can't be here right now. Hold on. <laughs> so, we're gonna change everyone's class since there's only one place to go. So, as you guys have recommended, and I, yes, I did call Python and Foresight kind of bad. But the response I got was very weird, because, well, I didn't exactly call them bad, I just called them worse than our current units. And the response I got was weird, because I never thought I'd hear of the Fire Emblem community tell me this, but you guys are like, yeah, they're, they're kind of bad, but you should just grind with them. And that's astonishing to me, like, hearing the Fire Emblem community tell me to grind, that's like, let's play Ace Attorney and watching people going, don't examine things, just skip the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Just get on with the story, because that's never what they say. They get avidly upset that I don't look at vending machines. <laughs> but anyways, yes, I did level Python and Forsyth quite a bit. Python's level 6, Forsyth is 7. And aside from that, uh, Forsyth is actually ready to turn into a knight. Just like Lucas is. And I know I should have promoted them earlier. It sucks, because now those, like base stat gross will be kind of wasted, but whatever. I probably wouldn't have known if I had played this game without YouTube anyway. Wow, I like the knight design. Oh, are they holding, uh... If this is my new calling, so be it! They're holding the weapon in the shield hand just like they do in the GBA games. That's awesome. Although that's kind of like a soldier thing, more like it. I mean, a hero. Next we have Tobin, who's gonna get one point in everything. He's gonna become a sniper. I hope snipers become bow knights. That'd be rad. Yeah, looking good, Toby. I can do this. I can do this. It seems like the main benefit. Tobin learned a skill, bow range plus two. Oh, that's where it comes from. Okay, well that helps a lot. I wish I had that earlier. Gray's going to become a Myrmidon. I don't know, I, I can't, like... To me, Gray isn't a Myrmidon. He's a very non-Myrmidon Myrmidon, because there's a lot of 
free-spirited ones that kind of go about on their own, but they're so concerned with, like, improving their swordsmanship. I don't know, he just doesn't feel like one to me. Well, here goes nothing. Those momentous stat gains. Wish I had done this earlier. <laughs> oh well. Lucas is still getting a pretty significant um, stat change from this. Now we're gonna have two knights. Ooh. Go Lucas, looking good also. Whatever it takes to see the task through. Well, that settles that. Our units are now promoted. And apparently there's a third tier of promotion, so... That leaves room for things. Hey, Forsyth, what's going on? Want to talk? Oh, uh, hello, Ulm. Are you faring well? I must say, it's an honor to be fighting alongside Sir Myson's grandson. Laying it on too thick? <laughs> oh dear, I'm told I do that a lot. I suppose I just say what I feel without filtering it first. Python told me I should tone it down because it's rather shameful. But really, what's the harm? <laughs> I like Forsyth a lot. I've barely talked to him, but he seems like such a nice dude. Like, even if he sucked, I think, and he was awful and everyone told me not to, I would actually train him. Okay, so now that we've promoted, Back to Zofia Castle, which for all I knew had a Mila statue in it already. Sophian banners still adorn the hall. A bit excessive, but at least you'll never be short of light. Imposing doors for an imposing castle. Alright, let's move to this side room. So I bet there's gonna be ooh, treasure vault. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do when you conquer a castle that's yours, you just go in and take whatever you want. Writer's Bane? Are you serious? Huh, that looks awesome. Wine? Blue cheese. Empty treasure chests. Hey, a chest. I bet it has gold and jewels and... Ah, nuts! It's empty! <laughs> I was hoping this had something great inside, but it's empty. A black pearl. Huh, I wonder what that's for. Just making sure I got everything. Because last time you guys told me I missed the Iron Lance, which I did go back and get. Okay then, looks like that's everything. Hello, Mr. Sun. Glad I lived to see you another day. That mongrel Desai stole the royal sword when he turned tail and ran. The Regellian Imperial household gave us that sword as a sign of friendship. I don't know what use Desai has for it. Oh, it's a powerful sword and no lie but only in the hands of the right wielder. And that wielder isn't him. Yeah, it's Alm. The Rider's Bane here in the vault makes short work of mounted soldiers. That's what it's for, congrats. But as it's a lance, only knights and similar classes can wield it. Thanks. Who knew that, right? <laughs> All right, well. I suppose we gotta go to the Main room, then. Friends, may I have your attention? It's true we have made great strides by recapturing the castle, but Chancellor Desai, the man who started all this, remains at large, and the Regellian army yet lingers inside our kingdom's borders. To free Sophia, we must find Desai, slay him, and drive Regel back for good. Alm. Yes? You are our commander now. We would hear your opinion on this. Oh, right. My opinion. Um... <laughs> well, what are our options? I do like how it's evident that Alm doesn't really know what he's doing. Like, I think it's a much better position than where Corrin is at, and it's like... I don't know, because Corrin literally shouldn't know anything about tactics at all. For no reason. Like, I don't think he should be trained in that, and yet he's commanding people and no one has an issue with it, and no one thinks anything of it, but uh, I find that there's two types of lords. There's lords that actually command the army, and then there's figurehead lords. Um, and neither type bothers me. Like, Alm is a figurehead lord for all, by all means. He might become a 
a dutiful, well-versed commander by the end of the game, but at the moment he's just kind of to rally the soldiers, I guess I'd say. We could be defensive, garrison the castle, and wait for Rigel to come to us. Or we could take the fight to them. The choice is yours. I see. You know, until recently, I'd never set foot outside of Ram Village. This war has been my first glimpse of the kingdom I live in. Unfortunately, I've also seen what it's been reduced to. Needless to say, it's far worse than I'd heard. People are suffering, even dying. But this war, no matter how terrible, has also taught me something. It taught me that when we stand up and fight, we help those people. I was I was hoping you'd say, it taught me that lances can be used by mounted units and knights. <laughs> I don't want to stop helping them now. I want to press on and make as much of a difference as I can. I know this probably sounds empty, maybe even mad, but I think we should keep fighting until we've taken back all of Zofia. So then, will you stand with me? Will you stand and fight? Hmm. What kind of question is that? Of course we will, silly boy. Then it seems the matter is settled. The Deliverance shall march. We will put to say down and scatter the Regellian army to the four winds. Well, I mean, we will, Clive. We will. You're gonna have to, uh, I don't know, sit back and tend to the water or something, because I forgot to do anything with you. <laughs> Wow, that gave me goosebumps. Not bad, Om. Not bad. Were you even listening to a thing he said? Your goosebump giver just declared war on the whole damned empire. I know, but I think it was a nice speech. Wait, he did what? <laughs> no, no. C come on, this isn't war, Gray. He's just going to kick them out. Right, and then Emperor Rudolph will just send a fruit basket to apologize. <laughs> Come on, Tobin. You can't be so thick that you don't see what's coming. Hmm. What? Stop staring at me. It's creepy. You knew it would come to this, didn't you? When you agreed to join the Deliverance, I mean. Oh, come now. You're the one who said all those years ago that Ohm was different from us. You knew he was going to do something like this one day. <laughs> I'm not a prophet, Tobin. All I meant was that he's different. Well... You were onto something no matter what you meant. Because now we're starting to see that he's much bigger than we are. I'm proud of him. But I'm also going to miss him. Oh, brother. You poor kid, Tobin. Wow, that's... I'm really impressed by that. And I mean, just by Fire Emblem standards. Because... Like... I know, once again, this is controversial. I'm like, I'm Dialogue Monkey, and I love listening to people talk forever and ever and ever. But, um, it's just so interesting to hear what the rest of the people around them think about what they're doing. I mean, just imagine how much uh, games like FE1 could be improved if they added dialogue. Or, I guess I should say even Shadow Dragon could be improved. If they added dialogue about, like, what the main characters think about what Mart's doing. Or you could see how ridiculous Corrin's actions are if you added, like, dialogue with everyone saying, like, Corrin, what are you doing? And I know that happens a lot in some other games, too. So it's nice to see what people think of their own commander. Especially when they're, like, friends. I don't know. It's just a nice touch. General Meissen was a magnificent man, but King Lima never did like him. Of course, he never liked much of anything besides his wine and women. I wager to say looked upon the general as an obstacle of sorts, too. Because after he'd murdered the king's children, he pinned it on Sir Mycin. You'd have been daft to believe such a thing, of course. Which is precisely what the king did. Or perhaps he just saw it as an excuse. Regardless, Mycin was found guilty and banished. He's lucky he wasn't hanged. Huh. They say all of King Lima's children are dead now, so they do. Oh, but I've heard tale that one of them still lives. Her name was Aunties, Princess Aunties. Do you see a bit of gossip that, eh? Never heard Story of her. Story goes, the villa she lived in was set to blaze some ten or so years back. Folks thought she burned to cinders, but you know how tongues like to wag. Could be some brave soul up and saved her. Wonder where she ended up if so. Yeah, I wonder where. <laughs> 
Wonder who that Princess could be. Princess had a brother from a different mom, but they were still close. After that fire at the villa, however, neither body was found. I often dreamed that at least the princess managed to escape somehow. Are they talking about Celica, who like changed her name or something, or is this someone completely different? Hard to tell at this point. Um, is that a shield? Hold on. Hey, a suit of armor. Anyone in there? Hello? Nope. Empty. Can I take the spear, though? Yes. Oh my goodness, you just pick up anything you see. It does not matter. <laughs> cool. Alright, so I guess we're done here, then. On to the... Let's go up the staircase before we go to the central... Beg pardon, Commander, but the balcony is in use. Fine, then. Would you mind coming back a little later? I'm all my do what I want when I want. Uh... This urn looks valuable. Better not break it. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Fine, I'll come back later. To the throne room I go instead, then. Well, if it isn't the good men and women of the Deliverance. I was hoping I'd run into you. Please, allow me to welcome you to the castle. I served Sophia's king for many years, you know. If you need anything, just ask. Thank you. That's very kind. This is my first time here, so I'll admit to feeling a bit lost. My grandfather, Sir Mycin, spoke of it on occasion, but... Sir Mycin the Zophian General? Uh, yes, that's the one. I'm his grandson, Alm. He lived in this castle long ago, didn't he? Well, yes, but how very odd. I knew the general quite well, and he had neither wife nor child. Yeah, this is what, um, I think Desai was talking about. And he's like, wait, how did this never come up? Huh? I beg your pardon, good sir, but that simply cannot be the case. Alm is most certainly related to... No, I assure you, General Mycin told me himself. I have no family, he said. Clear as day it was. Yeah, Clive's pulling some sort of trick here, I know that, because Desai said that... Someone was trying to pull something? It wasn't Clive himself, it was another name that I can't remember. But wait... If I'm not... Pay him no mind, Alm. The old man's probably just confused us all. It was a long time ago. Uh, yes. That must be it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm just confused. Hmm. Very odd indeed. It is very odd. Makes me wonder where is Alm actually from. That relief depicts a bit of history of Valentia. Not going to explain it. I don't know what that shit is. I just know it's historical. Can I go up to the throne? I want to sit on the throne. Wonder if they'd mind if I just sat there just for a... Uh... No, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I love the fact that we get to hear Alm's thoughts. And like... You learn that he's not... How do I say it? He's not, like, perfectly noble. Like, Command he has... Home. You're just in time. Like, he has his own little thoughts and own little quirks that you can only see if he's thinking them, because they're things that Ulm would never say aloud, and it makes me wonder, like, what would Ellie would or Hector... Oh my god, a game where you have to filter through Hector's thoughts would be the best thing ever. It would just be, like, incoherent screaming inside of his head. <laughs> Please proceed up these steps. A visitor is waiting for you up on the balcony. A visitor? A visitor? Who is it? I'm afraid I cannot say. Go on and see for yourself. Okay. All right, then. Better not be Fernando. I swear to God, Fernando. If you're waiting for me on that balcony, I'm gonna throw you off right quickly. Oh, it's Mycin! Hold on. Hold on, Grandpa. I have some oranges to pick up off the floor. Oh wow, you can see all of Zofia from here. It's good to see you, boy. Grandfather, what are you doing here? Damn, nice armor. <laughs> <laughs> I have my reasons. Look how far you've come, Om. You're a man grown now. You've been through quite a bit since leaving the village, haven't you? I suppose. But, Grandfather... I'm sorry I never said goodbye, or thanked you for all you did for me. I still feel guilty about that. But 
I think I made the right choice. I'm the commander of the Deliverance now. And together, we've already liberated the southern outpost and this castle. So you see... I didn't come here to pick apart your actions, Om. I came here to ask you a single question. Are you ready? Am I... ready? Indeed. For once you march on Regal, you place yourself in the hands of destiny. You won't be able to stop the events that unfold. No one will wish you well. Many will even try to stop you. Unexpected tragedy is sure to follow. That is the price of what you are about to undertake. <sighs> the hell? It's like he can see the future, or he's just talking about like how bad war is in general. So I ask again. Are you ready to take the lives of others into your hands? Are you ready to shoulder all of their burdens? Their desires? And are you ready to fight and bleed until Sophia and all of Valentia is saved? I am. I know I may be in over my head, and I still have much to learn. But when I say I will fight for my kingdom, I will fight for my kingdom. No one will stop me. Nothing will break me. I'll see it through to the very end. He does actually remind me a lot of Ike. Like, Ike fully admits that sometimes he has no idea what he is actually doing. And he's like, oh, I'll just leave it to Sword. <laughs> but, um, at the beginning of the game, he's kind of incompetent and just trying to seek what he thinks is right, basically. Like, Alm is very protective of his country. Ike fairly cares about that at the beginning of the game. He more cares about, like, what is the right thing to do in his situation and where he wants to go with his whole life. Very well. I've seen that look before. Must run in the blood. Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand in time, boy. Say, that reminds me. This old man downstairs was saying some strange things. He told me... Huh? What's that noise? Is that people cheering or people dying? Well, well. The people have gathered to get a look at their new hero. Okay, cheering. <laughs> it was unclear. I thought they were fighting again. You should go greet them. Whoa. Burn this memory into your heart, boy. These are the people whose burdens you will carry the rest of the way. Remember what lies upon your shoulders. Oh, is this the shot? Every single... I think nearly every single Fire Emblem game. And so it was that Sophia Castle was liberated from Desai's clutches, causing the Sophian people to greet their new hero with raucous cheers. However, what Alm did not and could not know was that his victory here was but the prelude to a longer and far more bitter conflict. What? What? I burial tidings, Emperor! Oh my goodness, the Emperor is ripped, holy shit! <laughs> he looks like a Warhammer character. The rebel army has taken back Sophia Castle! And what of Burkut? Sire, Lord Burkut withdrew and rejoined with the main force. Pathetic. Pathetic! Um, is this guy even human? He looks like a Dragon Quest enemy. Like, he looks like a main Dragon Quest villain or something. A Regalia knight. The Emperor's sworn defender. Scurrying away like a rat. My Arcanists would never have painted so sorry a picture. Hold your tongue, Master Jedi. Why should I? I merely speak the truth. You said the leader of this deliverance is named Alm, correct? Yes, Emperor. He assumed command after Sir Clive of the Knights of Zophia stepped down. Did he now? I'm wondering what the big scheme is here. Because someone's pulling a scheme, someone's doing some schemery, and I can't figure out what it is. Act 2, The Pilgrimage. Oh, cutscene. Wait, that is so far in the future. Wait, Celica, what? Why is Ghost Celica? Oh! 
You took everything! Everything that I ever loved! You took Sophia! You took my friends! And now, Silica too! Holy shit, that choreography is great. going on what is that sword alms using it looks unique Cutscenes are so good. <laughs> and now is Stan. <laughs> Wait, are we already playing? Like, oh. Okay. I didn't... I actually didn't know this. Is that who hey, I think... Why are they clanging that infernal bell? Apparently the king's passed away. That's what Noma said, at least. The king? But isn't that... He was Silicus. Oh dear. I hope she's dealing with this There's okay. the best one. So, uh, before the game came out... I was looking at all the designs, and I don't know why, because usually designs like Jenny's don't catch me, but she was my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is, she's just adorable and the cute little, like, sheep hair. <laughs> You're certain I can't dissuade you from going, little one? Oh, wow. I just made a char- I just made a little video about characters with, uh... Resting bitch face, and I think I found a new one to add to that, because Celica looks pissed all the time. Although then again, this is like supposed to be a sad moment for her, so. I must, Noma. It's been years since crops last grew on Zofian soil. Our barren fields have fallen victim to terrors. The Regellians have invaded. I fear some ill must have befallen the Earth Mother Mila. I can't help but feel this is all related. I know it. Hmm. Perhaps it is at that. I'll not deny that the Kingdom of Zofia faces her darkest hour in some time. More sick and hungry come to the Priory's door each day seeking aid. The key to everything lies with Mila. I shall travel to her temple and learn what's become of her. Yes, but little one. You know well the reason Mycin placed you in my care. With the King's passing, you are the last living member of the Zophian royal line. Which I presume is important. There are many who would seek to use you, or even end you. That threat is greater now than ever, yet you would still leave knowing that? I must, even if my decision betrays the care you and Mycin have shown me. You've done so much to keep me safe, and it breaks my heart to pain you. But what calls me to do this goes beyond my heart. I can only ask your forgiveness, Noma. Keep your cries of forgiveness, little one. I'll not give what isn't required. If this is your mind, I won't object. Follow the path before you. Trust in it as I in you. Thank you, Noma. <laughs> oh, hey, she can smile. Of course. But you must take care. The blight in Zofia is worse even than you know. You've uncommon talent as a warrior priestess, 
but carelessness is fatal. Wait, warrior priestess, does that mean Celica can use staves as well as a sword? Ah, and you mustn't forget Miller's turn wheel. Good thing we made like 10 of these. God, I have them on back order. I'll just give them to whoever wants. <laughs> I wear it always. You know that. See that you do. I'm certain it will prove helpful on your journey. Thank you, Noma. For everything. Well then, I think I'll be on my way. Make sure you wear the Miller's Turnwheel t-shirt to make sure we get extra sales, Celica. We're not gonna get them any other way. <laughs> hmm? You're leaving this very instant? Surely you can stay until the bell's last peal. It rings to mourn your father's passing, as you know. I'll never think of that man as my father. Oh, okay, so she's not sad about that. Now if you'll excuse me. Little one. Okay, well, I guess we're playing as Celica. I didn't know, I don't know how I didn't come across that information, but I didn't know that they were two separate routes. I thought that I was so sure that, like, you, Celica would meet up with Alm eventually and they would just be double lords, but I guess it makes sense in true Fire Emblem fashion, but I didn't think you'd place both of them in one thing. I thought it would split up, but whatever. When Regal broke the Divine Accord, this plague of terrors fell upon us. But surely their own lands must be suffering the same fate. What could have driven them to invade Zofia at such a price? I would dearly love to know what's going through Emperor Rudolph's mind. I would like to know that also. Lately, Nova sees boat after boat filled stern to bow with hungry refugees. But alas for them, this island's no better off than anywhere else. We're even poorer than most. What with pirates seizing inbound supply ships. We'll soon have naught to eat but what fish the waves see fit to provide. These are dark times we face. They are indeed. I'm assuming that means pirate level coming. May you walk always in the light of Miller's blessing, little one. Can't tell me what to do. Uh, okay. Well, uh... Oh, all right, I guess I'll just leave then. Icons of the goddess Mila are worshipped all across this land. Okay, well, I guess we're leaving. Celica, I heard the news. You're going to the Temple of Mila, right? If so, then I'm going too. You can't say no. <laughs> Thanks, May. To be honest, I'd welcome the help. Good, because I'm coming too. I'm not letting the two of you off on your own. So, May and Bowie, okay. Letting us? Like, I've seen tons of fan art of these characters, but, like, I don't know half their names. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like you think you could keep us safe. I do, and I can. I'll be more help than you, at least. Uh, rude and <laughs> wrong. I can conjure lightning, Bowie. Big, hurdy lightning. What have you got? Fire? Maybe I'll call you if I want to roast marshmallows. Let's just say you'd both be a great help and leave it at that, shall we? I know I'll be counting on you both. This isn't going to be an easy journey. Still, I'm glad I'll have such good company. May and Bowie join you. I want to leave. I want to talk to her. Don't try to give me a leave. Celica, can I go with you? You can do anything you want, Jenny. Literally anything. No, I want the wine. <laughs> butter? Is Celica just gonna eat a stick of butter on the battlefield? Like, I love to... Like, I love people to come to, like, her tent, and it's like, Commander, we need your help, and she's just eating there, eating a whole stick of butter. <laughs> cog. Each cog you collect lets you rewind the battle with Mila's turn wheel one additional time. Wait, are you serious? I thought three was enough. Isn't that a little excessive? The chapel awaits beyond these doors. Okay, let's see what our party members actually are. All right, so we have Celica, who is Celica. <laughs> she is a, you said I could push Y to examine things faster, I think? Yeah, we can. A girl with a strange mark on her right hand. Okay. Uh, she has a golden dagger. 
It has one might. <laughs> An ornate dagger used for self-defense, but it does have some weapon skills with it. It has... F oh, she already has fire equipped, so she can use magic, which is awesome, because that means she's a hybrid class, uh, unlike Almas. And she has two arts with this dagger, and she's a priestess. So that means she can also actually use healing magic. Neat. Alright, next we have Mei, whose stats are pretty damn good. She has really high resistance and really high attack and speed. She has all the essentials. Skill's kind of low. And defense kind of makes her not so great against, uh, you know, high damage units. She has a sweet cookie, though. <laughs> a sweet baked treat popular with children. <laughs> uh, she has fire and thunder for abilities, so she has two already, just like Cliff has. Alright. Next, we have Bowie, who is also a mage and only has fire. And stat-wise, in comparison, his stats are much worse, but... I, I'm going to make everyone viable anyway, so who cares? And lastly, we have the best character, Jenny, who has a whopping 13 resistance. Uh, if gets hit with a rock, will die, apparently. Has 7 attack, which is decent, and 5 speed. She's kind of in a middle ground, and she's a cleric. And right now, she's our only healer. So, once again, I... Like, I don't know how to access any of the DLC items at all. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go out to the map first, but... Oh, wow, I can walk... Wait, why can I walk around inside the castle? Why would there be enemies here, or wherever this is? I don't know where we are, actually. Oh, there's a... There's a font right here. Uh, speed? And... Attack! Wow, that's a trade-off right there. Um, well, if, if I counted everyone's speed here... So we have 4, 5, 7, and 6. So I think Bowie could benefit from the speed, most definitely. So to make Bowie a bit better, I'm actually going to give him 2 speed. Just to catch him up with everyone. Make that easier. And then I'm going to give Celica a bit of attack, because her attack's a little low. There we go. Wow, you can actually- this is so cool! I'm still- I'm still amazed by this game and how Zelica can spin around in circles. Ships leaving the port will get us to the mainland. We should head there now. Though that does mean we'll have to pass through the cemetery on our way. Rumor has it there have been terrors appearing there as of late. Let's be ready for anything. Okay. Sure. Wait, that's... That's four people. We're just a four-person squad right now. <laughs> Milady, this graveyard we're passing through... Uh, why are we, again? Because it's the only way to port. Yes, but there's been talk of terrors around here as of late. So there has. Best keep our wits about us, then, hmm? But, milady, I... I'll face down thieves or rogues any day, but terrors... Terrors are... different. Oh, <laughs> Bowie. How can you be so scared of spooks and spirits at your age? Shove off, would you? A man can't help what gives him fright. <laughs> oh, not you too, milady. You wound me. I'm sorry, Bowie. I was just remembering my brother. Your brother? Brother? I Is she talking about Alm, like... Yes, though by different mothers. He was a sweet thing, but meek. Frightened to death of ghosts. Then he became one, alas. And much too young. Okay, never mind. That is Were not all. alive, you two would have been quite alike, I'm sure. Milady, I... Way to go, Bowie. Your whining's gone and dredged up a bunch of sad memories for Celica. What? Why is this my fault? Uh, because it's always your fault. <laughs> now suck it up and get ready to fry some foes, terrors or otherwise. May, why is your hair so pink? Okay, um, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 60 avoid? Why even, like, have a map? Why? Okay then, well we have generic terrors. None of them are different. 
Actually, some of them are slightly stronger than others. It's actually only that one over here. Yeah, it's only these two. So I guess let's just start. I have no objections, but let us check our inventory first. We have no extra items or anything like that. So let's just fight. Terrain bears no influence on magic. I remember Sir Myson saying so. Oh, really? Listen close, friends. Do not be shy about when and where you attack. Even if our foes cower in the woods, our spells will find their mark. Well, why do that with 60% avoid gravestones? Magical attacks ignore terrain effects. Doors. Okay, cool. I actually Ready didn't know that. Time. <laughs> she is such like a like a I don't know. She's an adorable voice. Okay. I've always heard people saying all over the place, I'm ready to roll whenever I bring up Jenny, and I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? Um, everyone's level one, so it doesn't I'm really particularly matter how I choose to go about this. Nice dodge, Jenny. Whoops, I think I have the, uh... Shoot, I just realized I had the animations turned off, I'm sorry. <laughs> it didn't occur to me as we were playing because when I was working with Python the others earlier. There we go. Okay. Well, Zelika, you stand right here, and you can actually cast some black magic. Holy shit. It's over. What is with our lords and critting? Phew. It's over. So you just said, you're like, it's over, and you're like, phew, it's over. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. I could have attacked from further away, but I wanted to get her in the tree line. I should probably turn those animations off, but I want to see it just runs. Uh, let's see. Let's try on range indicators. That helps. <laughs> wow, they're really lacking in that might department. It's fine, we can take care of this our own way. I should probably have her use the dagger so she does get experience with it, though. You know how to stop critting, girl? <laughs> Jenny, absorb his life force. God damn it, Jenny. It's okay, I forgive you. Uh, it'd be more beneficial to us in the long run just to sit here and take the damage, honestly. Sadly, I don't think Bowie's gonna crit. This is a fight I cannot lose. Wow, with 35, you managed to get a hit off.
<laughs> Come on, Jenny. Absorb his life. Yeah. Go, best sheep. <laughs> Who even needs the other mages when you have Jenny, right? Jenny can just destroy them all. <laughs> I know very little about you so far, Salika. All I know is you're grumpy most of the time, except for now when you're smiling. Heal him, Jenny. You're a lifesaver. That's her job. Ready anytime. Oh no. Oh wait, yes. Works for me. <laughs> yes, Jenny, just kill them all yourself. Like this? Yes, like that. I'm tuckered out. I know you are. Just keep fighting. Her personality is different than I thought it would be. Like I imagined her voice to be kind of uh I guess the only example I have is Himiko-ish. Come on, Celica. Let's help train your troops. My apologies. Celica, I wanted you to train, not crit. I won't ask forgiveness. Stop absorbing everyone's XP. <laughs> Doesn't do that much damage anyway. All right, come on. That should be enough. That was really easy. <laughs> I won. Yes, we did. At least battles can go by quickly if you're a fast fire emblem player, like I am. I did pretty good, right? Yeah, you killed literally almost as Celica, or as much as Celica. Sorry, Bowie. None for you. Whoa. So you can actually go back and fight them again if you want to? Oh, cool. I didn't notice that. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm very excited to start Celica's route. I want to see what kind of character she is. Because right now, the only thing I get from her is that she's grumpy and kind of defiant in a way. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Can't wait to get the rest of our party. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Right now.